Hello guys, I'm back with another video in the, wor the Redstone World of GX Card 1. So, uh, do you know what this means? Well, if you read the title, then you should. It's how to make a Minecraft TNT cannon. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some Minecraft TNT cannons, and it's kind of also kind of, um, how to make your own as well. Uh, and yeah, so there's two two designs I, I have here. This big design which I have on the outer area, and the inner design. So the inner design is very small and compact, and yeah, but I like the bigger design because, well, um, like, it happened a couple times on the PC and also on the Xbox version. I made this in the front redstone area, and some of the redstone blew up. Um, I haven't tried this on the Xbox version of Minecraft, but on the PC so far, this bigger design has not blown up any of the redstone, so all I have to do is reset the TNT, and that's it. So, yeah. And I will be showing you guys how to make the base for any really um TNT cannon first. Okay, let's just drop here. Okay, the so first thing you want to count seven blocks, which I have pre-counted because I have these right here. And then you're gonna do it on this side as well. There's a uh, one by seven gap in the middle, and at the end you want to place a block. And um, you're probably gonna be wanting wanting to use obsidian because it's it's uh, explosive resistant or better off, but um, can't really get better off in survival. So yeah. Um, and you don't actually have to have this back part here. There's other ways you can do it. Like you can use a pressure pad and stuff. But yeah, that's basically the main design here. And water and then this is the main design and obviously you have to fill it up with TNT and stuff but this is the yeah this is the main design that you will go off of. You can start from here you can do crazy designs or you can do very simple designs like over here which are very simple redstone and yeah so I'm gonna be first gonna be showing you guys how to make this inner uh, one here. So let me just um go in here see your redstone and I need a redstone repeater is redstone TNT, a button, or a fresh pad, or whatever, and basically that's it. And also your building blocks. So, once you have this main base design, you're going to put a piece of obsidian at the end, or bedrock, but um, you're probably just going to be using obsidian, as I said before. And then you're going to want to uh, yeah, line this whole entire side, except for the end, with um, redstone. Actually, I guess you might be able to do the end, I'm not exactly sure, I don't remember, but I haven't tried. But really, basically, just do this except for the end. It's easier that way. Remember, again, you're gonna put, uh, put some redstone here and put a button here so it can power the redstone. And next, you're gonna want to push the repeaters up on this side like this, and then uh, put them to the last setting, which is uh, three clicks. As you can see, one, two, three, one, two, three, and a one, two, three. Actually, this end one has to be redstone. Um. And there's that. And next, you're gonna fill it up with TNT like that. Um, actually, I forgot. But you need a fence. I, I, I sh I'm not sure if it has to be a fence. And then a pressure pressure pad like that, or whatever. Um, this is how I made the middle one. Let's see. My game is a little bit laggy for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, put on the top of the pressure pad, and there we go. This is how you make the middle design. Which I will now fire for you. So there you go. As you can see, went pretty far. It went all the way over here, I guess, about at least. Um, yeah, my game is lagging for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe it's because the TNT or something, but yeah. Okay, so there's the arc. Yeah. That's that's how you make the middle design. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to upgrade to the larger design. So you can have this smaller design and upgrade to this, or you can just go straight from the base to the larger design. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. So first, you wanna break this redstone here, place it with uh, obsidian, and then put the redstone on that obsidian, and like literally, I can still remember like so much about it. Um, yeah, but I like I forget the tiny details, but I can remember. 
basically just kind of the overall shape and like the certain things that happen and certain characters and stuff like that. So yeah, but yeah, I've been watching Mega Man Anti Warrior, Mega Man Anti Warrior Access, um, the second season of Mega Man Anti Warrior. So that's why that's another reason um, why I haven't been posting videos. Videos. Um, I've also been playing Xbox a lot just because I don't know, just kind of got on and. Yeah, I'm not sure how many videos I'm going to be posting, but hopefully I'll try to do, like, a Christmas special type deal. Maybe, I'll, like, I'll blow up a Christmas tree or something like that. You know, maybe I'll shoot TNT at Santa. Actually, I'm Santa. That'd be bad. That'd be that. I don't want to kill myself. Or, or do I? Um, I guess that's it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you subscribe, you will join my deck of cards. And who knows, maybe I'll put a link to your channel or something like that. Just depends. And that's been it. I pressed the wrong button, didn't I? Yes, I did. You know, because I'm, I'm so good at being professional. I'm just, I just am so good. Now, for the final last time, I give you a goodbye. And place the redstone right in front of the uh, obsidian block that you just placed. So they connect to the button. Um, game, stop lagging. I don't know why you're lagging. Um, next, you want to destroy the, all the redstone that you have placed. Um, keep the uh, pressure, pl yeah, pressure plaid, plaid. I always say pressure plaid, pressure plate, and fence that you have put down. Um, and then just put another layer of obsidian here, like that. So again, keep the fence and uh pressure plate, and then you're going to want to take a piece of redstone, and then from here out, it's basically just the same design, you basically just kind of raise it one, and then, uh, you have to do this here to make it work and stuff, and, yeah, so basically it's the same design, just, it just amped up by, uh, just basically, not amped up, but like, basically it's just one taller, uh, you still have to put it at the setting to three for the repeaters, um, probably called something else, but I can't remember at the moment, and then, uh, and then prime to TNT, do not prime the back section, and yeah, but you want to make it hovering over it, you do not want to put it, like, um, stopping the water, you want to put it above the water like this, um, so it does not stop the water, like that, and then you put, yeah, place your, um, TNT on the pressure pad, which will put it up there, you can just do it right there, um, and that's how you make the larger one, then you just press it, And it comes all the way up here, and it explodes. Now, this does explode in the air, but um, if you're using a normal world, then this will probably work a little bit better, especially if it's a mountain. And stuff. So, yeah, so that's because you have three of the larger ones now, and one small one. But, yeah, so it's, it's really fun to make, and this is, I think, great for building maps as well. Say if you're making just like a train thing, and say it's supposed to be like a war in the year 3000, you can, you know, use these. Um, and just, it, it'd, it'd be just really fun, you know, like, you can trap villagers in here, and you can change this to, say, a pressure plate, so that whenever a villager steps on it, then, you know, they, like, fires and stuff, so when someone's passing by, they can see it, you know, all this cool stuff, so, yeah, the Chinchi Cannon can be used for lots and lots of different things, so, hope you guys enjoyed, and remember, before the main design that I showed you, just by doing the, um, like, the, uh, seven... 7, and then a 1x7 strip in the middle being empty, and then putting a block at the end, and then adding water, that little thing there, hope you, hopefully you can remember how to do that, because it's pretty simple, it's pretty simple, but that's basically the main design, so you can just go off there and do crazy things and just experiment, so that's basically been it, um, and, yeah, and, uh, just want to, to say that the reason I haven't been posting videos a little bit lately, it's been kind of been like a week or something, um, it's because, well, there was the last week of school, which kind of just made me bored and tired and stuff, but, um, other than that, basically, I just kind of was like, just kind of doing my own thing, doing what I used to do in the summer before I was making videos, just kind of watching YouTube videos, playing with some old toys, just being nostalgic and stuff like that, um, because it's always fun to just go back and look at the past. Just, you know, thinking, 
I remember when I was like that, you know, everyone really should should want to be like that. I mean, vis visiting your past would be great and stuff. So yeah, basically that's kind of what I was doing, you know. And if you know the show Transformers Sabatron, Static Shock, or Mega Man NT Warrior, um, give this video a like, because those were probably my favorite TV shows when I was a little kid. So yeah, leave a like if you've ever heard of it, or watched it, or liked it, or anything like that. And yeah, I've also been watching Mega Man Anti Warrior, uh, because I haven't watched it in a long time. I remember t during the summer I watched Static Shock and Cybertron, Transform Cybertron, I think I just not get that out of my head, so I'm probably not going to watch it for like 10 years.